Hello guys. This is Dr. Rizwan Mirza. Welcome to my channel at Gertologist. Let's talk about gestational hypertension today. Gestational hypertension, also known as pregnancy-induced hypertension or PIH. It is a medical condition characterized by high blood pressure that occurs after the 20th week of pregnancy. It is a type of hypertension that specifically develops during pregnancy and typically resolves within 12 weeks postpartum. As per American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists or ACOG guidelines sustained elevation of blood pressure of more than 140 by 90, at least two readings, taken four hours apart. Noted after 20 weeks of pregnancy, without any proteinuria, when previous blood pressure was normal is labeled as gestational hypertension. It is one of the common complications of pregnancy, affecting a significant number of pregnant women. Let's discuss the difference between different patterns of hypertension during pregnancy, that include chronic hypertension, gestational hypertension, preeclampsia and preeclampsia superimposed on chronic hypertension. So the first one is gestational hypertension, which we have already discussed that if patient has raised pressures of more than 140 by 90 after 20 weeks of gestation but there is no proteinuria, she is diagnosed as gestational hypertension. Then is preeclampsia, which is diagnosed if she has raised pressures of more than 140 by 90 after 20 weeks gestations with plus two or more of proteinuria with or without the additional components which include, deranged liver function test with raised SGPT of more than 50, deranged renal function test with raised creatinine of more than 1, low platelets, pulmonary edema, seizures, or visual impairment. Then is eclampsia, which is the form of hypertension in which all the components of preeclampsia exist, along with neurological symptoms like seizures. Then fourth form of hypertension is chronic hypertension in which, patient has pre-existing hypertension with a BP of more than 140 by 90, prior to 20 weeks gestation. Then lastly there is preeclampsia superimposed on pre-existing chronic hypertension in which, the patient already has hypertension prior to the pregnancy but during pregnancy, after 20 weeks gestation. Her systolic pressures have raised more than 30 and diastolic pressures have raised more than 15 from her baseline pressures. With plus 2 or more of proteinuria and the additional components of preeclampsia. If gestational hypertension progress to preeclampsia, it has more negative effects to both the mother and the fetus. Let's discuss how to manage gestational hypertension. To manage gestational hypertension and prevent its progression to preeclampsia, close prenatal care with regular BP monitoring and urine test is recommended. Certain measures that your gynecologist might recommend include Lifestyle modifications. This may include recommendations for a healthy diet, regular exercise, and managing stress. In certain cases, medications might be prescribed to lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of complications. Frequent monitoring of blood pressure, urine, and fetal development is crucial to track the progression of the condition and make timely decisions about treatment. In severe cases where health of the mother or baby is at risk, the healthcare provider may recommend inducing labor or performing a cesarean section to deliver the baby. There are some antihypertensive medications that are considered safe during pregnancy including Methyl dopa, labetalol, nifedipine, and hydrolazine. Then there are some antihypertensive medications that are completely contraindicated during pregnancy due to their potential adverse effects on the mother and the fetus. The contraindicated medications include angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or ACE inhibitors, angiotensive receptor blockers or ARBs, direct renin inhibitors, thiazide diuretics, and spironolactone. It must be noted that early detection and management of gestational hypertension can help ensure a healthier pregnancy outcome. For which, it's important for pregnant individuals to attend all prenatal appointments and communicate any unusual symptoms to their gynecologist. Always avoid self-prescribed medications. Keep yourself and your fetus safe.
Always follow your gynecologist advice and take only prescribed medications. If you have any questions or query, please leave us a comment. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Gertologist and press the bell icon for updated video. You can also follow my page at Facebook and follow me on Instagram. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video.